and come to you with another video. Today we are doing a currently inked because it is time. I've changed a bunch of pens. Now I have a ton of pens inked and like two, four, like six of them are just from my experiments. So um, what I want to do is I want to um, sort of, okay, so I wrote out my list on Tomoy River paper. Gale and Leather Everyday Notebook. This is the A5 size. Um, but I have this Cosmo Air Light Notebook. This is the B6 slim size. And I want to try it out and give like a first impression sort of thing. And so I figured to do that, I would just rewrite my currently inked in a nice, neat manner and um, be able to show you that way because I just think that'd be cool. So um, right off the bat, this paper, I'll do comparison of the paper. The paper is much thicker. This doesn't have any markings on it. I got it from Danica58 on Etsy. Um, she has all kinds of sizes. I chose the B6 Slim because it's it's a small notebook and if I end up um, making my way through my journal like this is a good size for me. Um, so I figured whatever. I don't know. It just seemed like a good size for me so that's what I ordered. I wasn't sure that I wanted like an A5 because I was like what if I don't like it? What if I don't like it? What if, I don't know. I was just worried about what ifs. So I got, um, this actually came, they didn't have the B6 slim size, I think in like 320 pages, but they had, it came in a pack of two. Um, so I have one, I, um, I'm giving another one to a friend. So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to try it out and um, off the bat, just kind of like talk about it. Um, yeah, so the paper does have a texture. Um, it's not, it does have a coating. I don't think it's as thick of a coating as like Monomon Nemocine, I'm saying that wrong. Um, or um, maybe Rhodia, I don't have Rhodia. Do, oh, I have a letter written on Rhodia. No, it's toothier than the Rhodia. Rhodia is pretty smooth. So, um, and like Tomoe River paper is really smooth. This is 52 gram, this is 75 gram, so it's definitely a lot thicker. Um, yeah, and this is a dot grid notebook. And um, yeah, so I wanna try it out. Um, I originally saw this, I think on Sarah Martinez, and other people had been talking about it, and I finally just like, you know, finally just bought it. Um, this notebook has, I think, one, two, three, six signatures worth of paper in it. Um, I think this is 192 pages or 182 pages. I can't remember. There's no markings. It's really plain, um, which I don't mind. I think that's great. Um, corners are, are rounded, so that's nice. Um, so anyway, so yeah, so I'm going to leave my Tomoe River notebook open off to the side for reference, and then we'll kind of compare. We'll look at We'll look at the pen ink on it um, and compare how I, how I like it on this paper. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, so, cool. So it is, it seems, I don't know, it seems like toothier. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, like the texture feel. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. So we'll see. Apparently ink looks fantastic on it, so we're going to try. So I'm going to start off with the... 7,000 pens I have with our Lamy Dark Lilac experiments. Um, this is Lamy Dark Lilac. This is um, the three Yamabuda, one Shinkai. This is the four Yamabuda, one Shinkai, one Tokyo Blue Denim. This version is the one with Yamabuda. It's three one one Yamabuda, Shinkai, and uh, Robert Oster Tokyo Blue Denim. And then I have, uh, am I missing one? Am I missing one? Am I missing one? One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, no, I'm not. Um, then this has just straight up Diamond Pansy in it. And then this has the one that we did in the third experiment, um, which is Yamabuto, Pilot Blue, and Takasume. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do these and I'm going to probably speed through them um, because you have seen a lot of this ink the last day. Um, also, thanks for allowing me to spam you with like three videos yesterday. I uh, totally didn't intend to do that, but it was too fun uh, playing with your experiments. And I do, I will have um, 
some other people have lost some things in the comments, so I'm going to take note of those and maybe do a compilation, like exper another ink experiment video um, soon, I but I really wanted to get this currently inked up. So, yeah, so this is my Tooth Beat Eco Lime Green. I have a broad nib on it, and I have a long dark lilac. So going on right now, okay, I like the way this looks. This pen writes really wetly and it's taking a lot of ink onto the paper. No bleed through. Okay. Look at all these pretty purples. I want to say, like, in the writing, a lot of these are pretty close to Lamy Dark Lilac. Like, in the writing, this original 3 to 1 recipe, like, looks pretty close. Like, it's really good in the writing. Like all of these, I think are really good in the writing. This is obviously a little too cool, and this is a little, um, a little like redder. Um, but yeah, I like the way the broad nib looks on this paper. Um, I like how everything kind of on this paper so far looks pretty broad. Although this fine is a pretty broad fine nib, and this medium, um, yeah, is it's a pretty broad medium. So like. Yeah, that's excellent. I love how these look. Um, I was gonna say, um, how many of you pre-ordered the uh, Smoke Rose Gold Eco or will be ordering it when it comes out? I wasn't gonna pre-order it and then I got, uh, like, I got a lot of FOMO and then, so I ended up pre-ordering it. I was gonna wait because it seems like people who just order it, like, the day of release seem to get it a lot faster than any other time that I've pre-ordered it. Um, I know they don't ship it out until the release day, but it seems like when I pre-order it, I get it, like, so far after everybody else, which seems like it defeats the purpose of a pre-order, although pre-order means I'm guaranteed one, so I ended up pre-ordering mine from uh, Lemur Inc. I know Pen Chalet has it. I think they had it a little cheaper than everybody else, though, to be honest, um, so maybe check that out. Um, also, I don't know if that's still accurate, but I know yesterday somebody was telling me about it and I looked and it was like $10 cheaper. Um, um, also, I think Drumbles has it, Pen Boutique. There's, you could probably find it anywhere. Lots of people are doing pre-orders. Um, Goulet, I don't think does pre-orders, but they'll have it. Um, just look for your favorite. Twisby will have it. Um, I ordered a broad. And I'm wondering if maybe I want another nib size because all my rose golds are broads or mediums. All my white Twisby rose golds are mediums and all my smoke rose golds are broads. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, so if you haven't uh, checked out the Eco Rose Gold, Smoke Rose Gold, I think it releases Friday the 5th. Um, but yeah at like midnight. Um, if you're on the West Coast, I think that I've seen it up available for sale at like 9 p.m. the day before. So uh, don't quote me on that, at least from Twisby directly. Don't quote me on that. It might not be accurate, accurate but check it out. Um, I think it's midnight Eastern time. Um, yeah, so I have really enjoyed, I have been using Diamond Pansy all day. Um, I know that I was talking about how the ink smells, but I don't really smell it when I'm writing with it. I just smell it when I'm like filling the pen with it or have the bottle open. 
I want to say when I opened one of these pens, I really smelt it pretty bad. Um, but yeah, so other than that, that's, that's, that, that's these. So I've talked about, the, I'm going to speed this up and then I spend 10 minutes talking about them, whatever. Okay. So next up, we're going to move into all the other pens that I had inked. I have a lot of pens inked. I'm looking at the list that I have and I feel like I'm missing some colors. I feel like I'm missing a nice red, a nice green. Um, but I just already have inked a ton of pens and I had six pens inked just from our experiments. So I don't really want to ink any more pens right now. So as I clean some of these out, I'll probably be replacing them with maybe a different green or a red or, um, whatever I think that I need. Um, so yeah, so we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what happens. My plan is to do another currently inked like much sooner than a month from now. So we'll see what happens. Um, this pen is one you haven't seen before. This is a, a Lamy Studio. At least, I mean, you might have seen it before, but you haven't seen it here. Um, this, excuse me, is a Lamy Studio. It is the Terracotta colorway. Um, I had somebody who was kind enough. They were um, getting rid of some of their pens and saw that I, you know, love studios and um, asked if I wanted to buy these and the price was right and I bought three of them. So, so you'll be seeing two of them today because I inked two of them up and one of them will, you know, could be inked up the next, the one of them will be inked up the next time. I just, you know, was worried about the pens that I had inked. I really am trying to kind of keep it down. Um, and I think without all of these inks, it probably would have been a more reasonable list, at least for me. Uh, this is this ink is Robert Oster Terracotta. It was a sample sent to me from Casey. So I'm going to put a little heart because that's an ink from a pen in front. And the pen is Lamy Studio, also in terracotta. Yes, I paired them together like that on purpose. <laughs> So there we go. So thank you, dear pen friend. I, I don't know that they want me saying their name, but um, yeah, thank you for allowing me the chance to give these a try. Um, next up, I have another pen that I ordered from this same pen friend. Um, this is the Lamy Studio Olive. Um, and yeah, I think this is so pretty. The only one I haven't inked yet, inked yet is um, I also got the racing green one and I haven't inked that one up yet so we'll see that next time for sure and I went matchy matchy with these on purpose I just I just wanted to um, this ink is Dimine Safari have a really old sample that I found when I was entering my stuff on Fountain Pen Companion and I was like ooh that would be perfect for that studio so and this is an extra fine actually so is this one I can't remember what the racing green is it's either a fine or a medium I think it's a fine um, yeah, but I just think these look so pretty and in honor of uh, um, Mommy re-releasing the safaris in these colors, I just thought it'd be fun to ink them up and have matching inks. I don't know that I'm going to get the safaris. Um, I haven't decided. I kind of want to, like the collector in me wants to, but I just don't use my Lamy's that much. You see that here. I don't have any Lamy's ink today. Well, I have one Lamy ink today, but it's not a safari. So I don't. I don't know. There's too many other pens out there that I want to get. Uh, and everybody's coming out with purple pens this year. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be good. I'm not going to buy a ton of pens. And now I want to buy all the pens. So, yeah. So next up, I have the uh, Wingsung 3003. And actually, somebody commented on the... Uh, the uh, video with my pen with my sister's uh, gift and said that it kind of looked like it's the Wing Sung logo and it kind of does I don't know if you can see that there might be some glare let me see if I can you see that in the middle it kind of does look exactly like the Wing Sung logo or really close to the Wing Sung logo but I don't know what the pen is so yeah so anyway it might it could be a Wing Sung Looks like it's the same logo, so that's awesome. So this is affectionately known as my friendo pen. It's a pen that my best friend gave me. And yeah. So 
I'm going to... I almost always have this inked. Every once in a while it runs out of ink and I take my time cleaning it out, but I always... I have... It's an extra fine nib, but I have like pushed it. It was a pretty broad extra nib or extra fine to begin with, but I kind of have pushed the uh, nib to its like capacity. <laughs> um, the ink that I have in here is Van Diemen's. Um, this is one of the Tassie Seasons. It's winter. I'm just going to put what the season is, and it's a black truffle. And I can't remember if I ordered this ink or if it was part of my birthday swatch fest. I was going to go look that up. I think it was part of my birthday swatch fest um, from my dear friendo. You could see this writes way thicker than these e extra fines up here. But I have like just like I've been kind of rough on this nib, like on purpose, because I wanted to like spread it out a little bit. It's still my favorite pen to write in my journal though. It's still small enough in the journal. Um, but yeah. This is the only pen I won't put blue ink in. <laughs> okay, and then we have my Twisby Eco Pink. And this has, this is another sample, well actually after we did the last swatch video that I did where I did those Kaki Murray um, inks, I remembered, and then I was doing Fountain Pen Companion, I remembered about this one. It's one that I've really, really, really wanted to get into a pen, so um, this is Lennon Toolbar. It's atmospheric, but I don't have enough room to write that. So um, it's atmospheric line. And this is Twilight. And this is a pigmented ink. Um, so I wanted to kind of get it in a pen and see how it works. This is a medium. I really love how broad this makes everything look. This, If you like thinner lines, you this might not be for you, but I am super pleased. Um, and next up is um, one that I like immediately wanted to get into a pen as soon as I swatched it. This is from that uh, Swatch Fest video, the last the last one. Uh, I love this ink so much. I've actually been, I've had this inked for a couple of days um, and I um, love it. I love it. I just, I love it. I love how it looks in this pen. Like, how cool is this? So I have a pink with a grayish ink and a gray with a pink ink, and I love it. All right, so this is our first page of inks. Not a bad, not a bad little setup. Um, next up, we have my... Uh, my uh, cocktail series, Sailor Pro Gear, Angel of Delight. I think I'm going to write the name here and then do the square out here. And that way it will kind of be a little uniform. Oh, I did this backwards. That's fine. The ink is Sailor Sutton. I really wanted a blue, and I usually ink this with a color that matches, but um, do I have a, do I have a scratch? Well, oh, that's not bueno. It's been in a pen case. What the heck? Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is my Angel's Light. I love this pen. This is one of my favorite pens. If I had to run out of a burning building, these are the two pens that I would grab. It used to just be this one, but I've added this one. I mean, we did we are, we did get married, so <laughs> I should take my wife pen with me. 
<laughs> Next up we have my favorite pelican. This is my pelican. Okay, I'm gonna do this right this time. I'm gonna do the ink right. Or should I do, should I stick with, no. I'm gonna do the ink like I do, like I want it to be done. This is Birmingham Pen Company Soft Pretzel. This is, this is a medium nib, despite how broad it looks. This paper is making this medium nib look even broader than it usually does. And this ink, oh, it's just so smooth. I just love it. Oh my gosh, I love how this pen writes on this paper. Um, this ink sample was a uh, sample from pen friend Casey. I think, did I miss anybody else? I think, I mean, these are all my experiments. This is from Casey. I'm going to put a little heart because I am 99% sure that this is the one that I got for my birthday. Um, I bought those. That's a sample. This was an ink flight sample, I believe. And then this is the pen friend ink. And I purchased that one, so yeah. So there we go. Next up we have my Twisby Mini Rose Gold. And I inked this up. Can you can you guess the ink based on based on the sloshing? Let's see if you're right. I'm going to draw the square first so I know where to stop. And we'll look at bleed through and all that, especially with this one that I'm going over a couple of times. Look at it. I'm going to put the pen. Oops. And the ink is Kobe. I think it's number 21. Do I still have the sample up here? Not that one. Not that one. Where is it? I think it's number 21. Yes, number 21. And this was a pen friend ink from pen friend uh, Tasha. I am in love with this. There's literally no reason I should love this as much as I do, but I do. Next up is not really inked. It's just, I'm finishing a fill, but um, I wanted the pretty color here. So we're gonna include it anyway. I saw this pen still had ink in it and I was like, oh, let me, let me go ahead and finish that. And this is Sailor Manio Uki Kus is it Uki Kusa? I think it's Uki Kusa. I'm second guessing myself now, but um, and this is a Twisby Eco Pastel Pink. And this is a fine. It rates more like an extra fine, in my personal opinion. Although my my pastel blue extra fine is really fine too. So, um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. This is a holdover, a leftover pen from Thirty Inks. Okay, I have four more pens left. <laughs> um, let's figure out how I want to do this. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'm gonna start with this one. This is my Pilot Falcon. Hi, Patches. Is it lunchtime? It is lunchtime. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Okay, and this ink is Ferris Wheel Press. Lady Rose. This is a pilot. Pilot Falcon, and this is a soft medium. This ink is gonna look real pretty on this paper, I think. Actually, I have to say, all of these inks look really pretty on this paper. 
Um, next up, oh, this is gonna be exciting. This is my Pilot Custom 823. I have a medium nib on this one. And the ink is Colorverse Matter. Yo, the shading on this. Next up, this is another one that is just a, I'm, I'm filling the fill that's in the pen. Um, I realize this had ink in it still, and I love this ink and don't want to waste it. And this is Sailor. Monio. Chigaya. This is a Lamy 2000 with a medium nib. I don't even think I showed the pen off. Bad pen YouTuber. So it's just a black ink. Um, I really like it. It has some sheen on it, some black sheen on it. It's really pretty. And I just, every time I pick this pen up with this ink in it, I don't want to set it down. So, um, so I'm not going to. I'm going to finish the fill of that ink and um, be done with it. And last but most certainly not least, make sure I'm not missing anything. Yep. Last but most certainly not least, we have our Sailor 1911 Large. And the ink that I have in this pen is not the ink that I usually put in it because I usually put Sailor Ink Studio 650 in it. but it's a witch pen. I have a witch ink. We gotta pair them up. So we have Bunga Box. Ink of Witch. And this was a gift from a lovely pen friend. And this is my sailor. 1911 Large. Wicked Witch of the West. I should have just put Wicked Witch. Y'all know. I feel like I should have inked a couple more pens. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was awesome. So this is what it looks like on this paper. I'm going to write so I know what it is later. So there we go. So that's what our pens look like. Let me um, bring it up close so you can see a little up close. Maybe see some of that sheen. I love this ink. I've never used Sailor Sutton, but I had the, it's brighter. For some reason I thought it was a little bit darker than it is. It's really, really bright. Um, that soft pretzel though, that's so pretty. And that Tysonji yellow, oh my gosh. But as you can see, like I feel like I need like either a bright pink or a bright green or or maybe dirty red, something, I don't know. There's something, it's missing colors, but this is what I have currently inked. So um, let's see, do we have any bleed through? No bleed through on this paper. It does kind of like, There's no bleed through, but you can feel, it definitely feels like it's been written on. It feels really cushy to write. Oh, I just smeared that. It feels really cushy to write on. And these inks, oh, here's that sheen that I was telling you about on that Sailor Monio. The shading on this Colorverse Matter is bonkers. Same with Lady Rose. They have similar shading where it's because they're so light, um, but when you print, like you get all this cool shading. And that Tysonji yellow, I'm in love. I'm in love with that ink. 
I just love it. So. so yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, here's what, here's how it kind of compares to the Tomoe River paper. You can see it's a lot, I'll compare these two. The, this is a medium, I mean, it's the same pens, but it looks a lot, even, even the soft pretzel, like it looks, a little bit. It looks so much broader on this paper than it does even on Tomoe River paper. I kind of like it. Um, I could see where it would get annoying eventually, but um, yeah, I kind of, I kind of dig it. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to talk myself out of a bottle of that Chigaya. I just don't need it. I have Twisby Black. I don't have need for any. I have Twisby Black. I have Document Black. I have Noodlers Black, which I hardly ever use. Um, yeah, I don't. I have. Excuse me, no need for another black ink, but I just love it. So yeah, so I hope that you enjoyed this little video. Ooh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. I also feel like I need maybe another blue, maybe midnight blue or like a dark blue of some kind, maybe the Shinkai, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing some sort of colors and I didn't plan out colors. Like I feel like I need to have a rainbow. There's a lot of purple and a lot of like warmer colors that are not usually colors I use. <laughs> but I love it. I'm so excited. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this currently inked. Um, what pens are you inking up this week or this month or this year? Let's go ahead and push them all into frame. Even the 11 billion, even the 11 billion. Let me make sure I get them in the right order. Doot, 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 doot. Do them all over again. All right. So here's our here's our pens for this this time, this month, this couple of weeks. Um, I anticipate that a lot of these purples will be gone. Um, yeah, this will probably be filled with a different ink. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just depends on how much I get done writing. Um, but yeah. So yeah. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you're inking up down in the comments, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.